13 days ago, I started some tomato plants. The variety was uh, Golden Harvest, and it was from Arrow Garden. And this is uh, one of the pods, and it looks like there's a uh, single tomato plant starting to come up through there. The second pod has done exceedingly well with multiple seeds in that pod. They've all germinated and now are competing with each other. What I'm going to start out by doing is taking a small pen knife and I'm going to try to lift the uh, leaves out of the uh, sec second pod, or first pod, I, I should say, that I showed you. And I'm going to start by uh, lifting some of these cardboard flaps up. And let's just kind of reach down and lift the leaves up and out. I'll return the cardboard. There we go. And so now the leaves get full light and that plant should start doing a little bit better. On the uh, other pod that has all the plants in it, I'd like to get to this one before for the roots uh, develop too quickly and come out through the uh, grow sponge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let that drip just a little bit. I'll set that down and I want to take the uh, grow sponge out. So let's see if I can grab hold of the grow sponge and push up a bit We'll see if we can get that to uh, come up and out. It's starting to get there. There we go. So now I'll just kind of guide that out. Set that to the side. And there may be a little bit of plant uh, damage. There are some. Uh, roots that are starting to come through. But what I'm going to do is try to separate these plants. So let's uh, find a spot where I can start to slice down without uh, touching where the roots are most strongly coming through the sponge. And if this goes successfully, we can separate the plants and put those into some new grow sponges. And instead of uh, just clipping off plants, I'll end up with multiple plants. Now I sliced it. I'm going to start to separate that out. Okay, so we're in pretty good shape. See how nicely that opens up? So let's see if we can lift and separate the plants a bit. Now these on the other side, there's three that are more closely uh, packed together. Show you the uh, way that those look, just like that. So let's grab a hold of the uh, stems, kind of unbraid those. And try to gently uh, pull the grow sponge material away from that root mass. It's a good thing that I'm not a surgeon because as clumsy as I am pulling these apart, it's a wonder that uh, this process works for me. All right, so... Just rolling those around a little bit. This is the most difficult part. I can start to see that they're going to separate. So I'm 
I'm down to two that are tangled. That's one. Two. And three. I'll probably just leave that uh, sponge material on there because there's no need in uh, doing any more disturbing of the roots than what I've just done. That did make a little bit of a mess that uh, I need to pick up. That is a new growth sponge. What I'm going to do is, it does have a hole in the center. I'm going to take this knife and I'm going to slice it open so we can take the uh, tomato plants and start to separate those into new growth sponges. So we'll just do a little bit of uh, trimming right down the side. If you don't have uh, nice knife skills, you might try scissors instead. No point in uh, giving any advice that would lead to stitches. And as I go through a little at a time, it gets closer to the center of the sponge, and I could test that by opening up the sponge like that. So if I take the uh, tomato plant, I'll just open this up. If I turn it, you might be able to see it better. I just need enough space for those roots to go inside where I can close it up, have about that much tomato plant uh, sticking up and out, get another Aero Garden basket, and just drop that in as so. What I'm going to do, I have got spacers across here, is try to root these plants a little bit better because for a garden like the Air Garden Bounty with 40 watts, uh, three plants would be as many as you'd like to grow in here, and two are actually more manageable. The uh, Air Garden Golden Harvest plant I've grown before, and one plant can get substantially large. So let me go ahead and get those other plants uh, separated into their new homes. And here you have it. The uh, original plant is here. Uh, these three were put into new sponges, and this one on the right was left in the original sponge uh, since it seemed to be a little bit more attached. And so the only thing that uh, we have ahead of us right now is to do a quick follow-up to see if these are going to adjust. We'll try to get these all to survive, and we can compare a little bit as well. We could find out about the uh, ones that were put into new sponges as compared to the one in the original sponge and the undisturbed plant and see if any of these tend to grow better than the others.